world, societies are threatened by natural catastrophes. The impact of these extreme events is often much worse in emerging markets than in developed economies. For the low-income population, insurance coverage is often unaffordable. High-scare researchers Professor Alexander Brown and Niklas Häusler are convinced that an innovative decentralized insurance model using blockchain technology has the potential to mitigate these problems. Blockchain is a type of distributed ledger technology that allows for record keeping by a network of computers rather than a trusted intermediary. Blockchain systems are highly transparent, tamper-proof and openly accessible. With new technology also come new challenges. In traditional insurance, companies can use managerial oversight and have a strong legal environment to operate. However, in decentralized organizations, the incentives are not as straightforward. Anonymity and global dispersion lead to a lack of enforceability. In cooperation with Etherisk and the Decentralized Insurance Foundation based in the Swiss Crypto Valley in Zug, Brown and Häusler address these problems. They developed a practical system for the incentivization of participants in decentralized autonomous insurance organizations based on microeconomic theory. The fascinating part about the project is that we're looking at a decentralized setting. That means we are trying to provide insurance coverage to people without an insurance company that can coordinate all the functions and the workers that are necessary to deliver it. Without an insurance company as an intermediary, transactions require an economic mechanism to prevent bad behavior of the transaction partners. Otherwise, the product quality and ultimately the whole market is endangered. The mechanism proposed by the researchers relies on digital deposits called stakes, which consist of cryptographic coins that are paid into electronic wallets governed by software code. A key moment during our project was when we applied our microeconomic model to real-life data from the decentralized insurance sector. And at this point, we really found out that relatively small stakes are sufficient to create adequate incentives for network participants. Uh, so we began to understand that our results might have a wider impact in practice. When I first started to look into blockchain technology, I soon realized that it gives rise to fascinating economic problems. I then met Stefan from Etherisk two years ago at the International FinTech and Blockchain Forum in Zurich, where we decided to join forces to conduct research on decentralized insurance. And then Niklas joined the team a few months later and we started to develop a new token design. When implementing decentralized insurance, it's very important to have a proper token model. And we are very thankful for Nikas and Alex's support. Their strong scientific rigor really helps us to lay the theoretical foundation for our token model. There are a few concrete projects which could strongly benefit from this research. For example, there is the crop insurance project in Sri Lanka, there is a hurricane insurance or even flight delay, our classical example for parametric insurance. And they all could use this token model to incentivize participants. In line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals of reducing poverty and fighting inequality, closing global protection gaps is a key task for the 21st century. With a proper token model in place, the vision of an active decentralized insurance sector that can supply coverage even to the lowest income populations has come one step closer. Well, the ultimate goal of this research and in general the decentralized insurance movement is to enable everyone around the world to get access to affordable insurance. So it's a kind of democratization of insurance uh, to close major protection gaps and help people around the world um, you know, protect their assets. <laughs>